Ron Paul, you've got clearly an anti-war candidate, uh, an isolationist, that's the charge that's laid against him, wants to bring all the troops home, wants to close uh, US bases in Japan and, and in Europe. Romney having sort of flirted with bringing troops home earlier in the campaign, now being pretty hard line, saying that Obama should never have, have announced a deadline for troop withdrawals and leaving the space open to keep more troops there longer than the current administration. Generally speaking, the Republican candidates are not talking about reducing the number of troops in America's armed forces. Montana has no real highly developed manufacture. Uh, it's been a resource extraction state, which means that most of the money has gone out continually of the state and the employment level is not great. Uh, many people don't have uh, jobs that uh, they can find that, are, that amount to any kind of wage, and the military is there. And many, many of the young people from the, from the country or you know, those who come off the farms and the ranches or out of the small towns, look to the uh, National Guard, basically, or the other uh, military for an employment. It plays a huge role in Montana. We've always been very patriotic. Uh, we've uh, supported the military we've, by joining and uh, serving in the military. And we've always supported our troops at home uh, and overseas. Uh, we have uh, a large number of veterans. Uh, over 12% of our current population is veteran related. I lost a lot of my friends because I enlisted. I had to quit hanging out with, with a few of them. All in all, you know, they, the true friends stayed, but the ones that were like, oh, well, you can't do anything funny anymore, so they kind of bailed. As long as you got your true friends, you're good. It's really interesting, the military in Helena, because to me, it seems like we have maybe a stratification. For the people I'm around, we support the military, but no one would ever go in, into it, and we're not thrilled with the war in Iraq, or at least I'm not. I'm in this class for a freshman who are having trouble doing their homework and stuff, and they, um, they want to go into the military like their dads. I just think that's really interesting. Uh, when I graduate from high school, I plan on joining the Marine Corps and working enlisted to become a scout sniper. It would help pay for my college. That'd be a big part of it. The biggest problem I have right now uh, is going out and fighting. I mean, I will if I have to, but it's not really something I look forward to. My wife was home when uh, the two uh, fellows came up and of course, she knew uh, uh, what had happened. And of course, <laughs> my wife being very strong, those guys were in tears. And uh, Nina was uh, pretty well collected. Uh, but you try and prepare yourself that it may happen. And of course, you pray to God it doesn't happen. So uh, even though you think about it, you still can't fully uh, prepare for uh, uh, losing somebody like that. But, what is nice that even today, which is many years later, uh, people still come up to us and say they're thinking about them and, and think, uh, you know, that there are people willing to serve uh, this country and think it's a, you know, a great place to live, but there come responsibilities that come along with that. My last deployment, we were almost uh, 20 months away from our families. So it can be tough, absolutely. But it, it has its rewards as well. My, str my family is stronger for it. I'm a team-oriented type person. So uh, you have a mission, you have a goal, and I like to win. So it, it, was, it was a good fit for me. They were going to a school to hand out supplies and candy and stuff, and they were on a three uh, vehicle convoy and he was in the middle Humvee and uh, when the uh, bomb exploded under his vehicle. If he had been a draftee I would have felt a lot worse but 
he elected that lifestyle and uh, that line of work. On the one hand, it is, it has been to a certain extent a benefit for people who have no great education and who have no particular training uh, to have some employment, but it's the worst possible thing to pull young people into a militaristic way of life which depends on military dominance in the world. What, ha what needs to happen is there needs to be social welfare programs that train people for some kind of useful work instead of training them to go and kill people they don't know for reasons they can't explain.